Now it's tea time with the pronoun sponsored by CH Insurance on News Radio 570 WSYR on 1069 FM and live everywhere on iHeartRadio. Yes, we are the fastest moving golf show on the planet, ladies and gentlemen. We don't have anybody in the studio today. I'm the lone wolf in the studio. It's just me and Anna behind the mics. Yes, sir. Good morning, Anna. How are you? Okay. Uh, I got a couple of shout outs, but before we do that, I'm going to introduce uh, someone who's somewhere, uh, somewhere in the United States. The weather is might be a little bit better, but not much than Syracuse, New York. Joey's in Florida. Well, I, that's, I shouldn't call him Joey, even though he's wearing diapers compared to me in terms of age. But he's in Florida uh, again, but not only for a short time, uh, on business. And so let's go to Florida and talk to Joe Convertino Jr., the president of CH Insurance, the title sponsor for Tea Time with the Pronoun. Good morning, Joe. Good morning, Perry. How are you guys? Uh, we're fine. We're fine. Now, you sound like you're, you're in a little bit of a tunnel, so, but that's okay. Uh, your voice is loud and clear. Now, tell us, tell us where you are. Well, I'm, I'm down at our place in, in Fort Myers Estero for the week. And um, next week, good news, Perry, the Chubb Classic. I got invited, Linda and I are going to the Chubb Senior Classic Saturday. So we'll we'll give you some tips down at Tiburon. Oh, my goodness. I'll be following, be following Ernie Els. Oh, uh, boy. Yeah, well, t- or whatever that guy's name is. Um, all the seniors. I wonder if you're going to make the cut down here. I don't think I'm going to make the cut. But Chubb Insurance is one of the, let's say, let's just say it this way more powerful insurance companies in the world? Is that fair? Yeah, they rank up there on an insurance. So you're right. They're a national carrier. Yes. We represent them. So they do high-end homes, big businesses, workers' comp. Yes. So they're a good carrier. They're a good carrier. It's All these insurance companies are, you know, sponsoring these golf events. But as you know, with the PGA and Liv, they're looking at this as well. Not necessarily the seniors, but the PGA. Yes, yes. Well, I want you to know that there's somebody else who's going to be in Florida later, much later this evening. Uh, hopefully he'll get there this evening. Wait a minute. For, uh, no, he'll get there Sunday morning, I guess, early. Uh, Tony Calashabetta from Cam's Pizzeria is on his way with some equipment for Cam's Pizzeria in Port St. Lucie, Florida. How about that? Wow. A shout out to Tony. Yeah, for his new his new store. How's it going? Did he tell you it's going well up there? Yes, and he's going to be there. Uh, well, he left, I think, 4 o'clock this morning. He's on the road. I talked to him for just a short time. Good morning, Tony. And uh, so he's going to drive right straight through, going to bring some equipment down there for the store. And I think they're going to hold off for a little grand opening, maybe – Maybe next month, and I'm gonna I'm gonna try to plan on being down there for the grand awesome. opening. Yeah. Now, awesome. now, now listen. As you know, the weather in Central New York has been absolutely wonderful, uh, Joe. Oh no, I heard. I heard. Um, my buddies were saying Foxfire's line was almost out to six ninety. Nah. Uh, <laughs> well, it was yesterday. It wasn't quite out to six ninety, but I'll tell you where it was. It was backed up. <laughs> the carts. I don't know. There must have been twenty carts lined up, and I thought I was going to go over there and just get out on the course and play nine holes in the afternoon. They oh had God. over. They had over two hundred golfers yesterday i offered to pay i offered to pay somebody to let me take their slot in line nobody nobody took me up on my offer and it wasn't exactly a ten dollar bill either well they must not know who you are Barry. no 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 but listen uh i found out that one of the tta guys that's the tuesday tour of america group that's run by uh 
Jerry and Bruce. Uh, there was a hole-in-one. Bob Taylor played there on February 4th. Wait a minute. Was it the 4th? Yes. Or was it yesterday? It was on a Sunday. And he had a hole-in-one. Wow. On, it, on the seventh hole, that... Uh, 159-yard hole, he drained it. He drained it. I can't think of anybody in central New York who can say that they had a hole-in-one on February 4th. Wow. I don't even... If you even played in February up north... Oh, yes. In all the years of your golf, I bet you have. Uh, I bet you have. I don't... I, I, I may have... I may have just once. May have just once. Anyway, right. so congratulations to Foxfire. You know what they've become, Joe? They had become the Liverpool of Central New York. Liverpool Liverpool never closed, Joe. Never closed. Ronnie and Richard, one of them was in the pro shop, or both of them, in their offices, uh, every single day. Oh, yeah, always opening up. As long as it was over 35 or 30, they'd open up. No, they would open. They would let people go out there if it was if it was 25, if they wanted to. Uh, wow. It, they, wow. Um, and that, that Jim Nobles, the owner of Fox Fires in Florida. But anyway, okay, so now what well, I else? I got a cute story for you. I got a cute story for you. Tell me. Um, and it, it, I made an executive decision is a co-host with Tea Time with the Pro now. So this week I got a call. Um, our good friend and accounting legend, Ray Grimaldi. Do you know Ray Grimaldi? Yes, I know the name. I don't know him okay. personally. <clears throat> He's legendary CPA, had his own firm, worked for Bonadio, I think is retiring. But he calls me this week and says, Joe, I didn't know you were on with Tea Time with the pronoun. I said, yes, why? He said, my buddies last year at Panera Bread were in there with me, and you overheard talking about a Super Bowl pool. And their Super Bowl pool was $2 a square. Okay? Yes. You gave, you gave them $2, and yeah. you must have said, here, and if I win... I don't know how you get a hold of me. Well, at the end of the day, Perry, you won $25, and they couldn't find you. Well, <laughs> so, Ray Grimaldi, Ray calls me, and I said, Ray, I'll give Perry $5. I want you to put $20 on your new poll this week, pool, with his coffee group in Panera, whatever Panera, because... That's your corporate office, Perry. Now, and for our Central New York listeners, you your executive office is in Panera across Central New York. Well, actually, yes, uh, I I I have several offices throughout New York State. <laughs> it's in the it's in the little booth in Panera's because they have an they have an electrical outlet there that I can use. Okay. To, yes. So yes, you're so, right. That's so where my Perry, corporate offices won, are. Yes, you won twenty dollars, and I had them put them put them, uh, reinvest it for the new pool. So you and I, of course, I put Perry and Joe Jr. for them in case we win, but um, the $20 is going on a new Super Bowl where I'll get you the numbers later. So is that a great story for you? Yes, that's a great story. Well, just a minute. Now, we, we have, I want to clarify. Mm-hmm. You said I was to receive five dollars first yes. from you and then you reinvested the 20 correct i need the five dollars joe for the for my cool. tea all right i'll venmo you later <laughs> the show. i'll venmo you but what a great thing so uh awesome but in this with big super bowl weekend perry before we leave who do you like i'm gonna pick san francisco yeah i i think you know brock purdy kind of under the radar, right? What a win for him, and um, it'd be nice to have the Niners win. Mahomes wins enough. Uh, not for that reason. Uh, I just think that there's, uh, there, for me, there's way too much attention being <laughs> Being given to Taylor Swift. and Taylor wait, Swift. I, I don't know how many people even care, but evidently a lot of people... <laughs> 
in politics oh, yeah. care. And th- there was almost like a, it, it's almost like a, a circus atmosphere over there around uh, Kansas City. But little Perry, little Perry the fourth, is he's a Kansas City guy. So I'm rooting for for uh, the 49ers. He's got Kansas City, and we're gonna have a ball watching that game. Yes, it'll be good. But I'll tell you these. They call them the Swifties, like your your granddaughter, my daughters. Taylor Swift has like increased the value of this game. It, I can't believe they said tickets were going for eight to ten grand. Yeah, can you eight imagine to that? Ten thousand dollars. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. Um, it'll be good. It'll yeah. be good. Okay, listen, Joe. Uh, so you're going to be down there next week at the Chubb Classic. And we're gonna re- you're yeah. gonna report on the on the event down there. Yeah, yeah, I'll be co-hosting with you next week, next more next Saturday morning. Okay, all right, all right. Have a good time. Say, say hello to everybody, uh, and I look forward to having you back in the studio. Oh no, we'll talk to you next weekend. We'll talk. We'll okay. talk. Have a great, great week and and weekend, and talk soon.